friendship could be. My little pony. Until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have my In case you ever wondered what happened to Pee-wee, the baby phoenix from the end of Dragon Quest, here you go. Spike apparently kept him for a while and then returned him to his parents. To be fair, the parents flew away at the end of the episode, so it may have taken a while to track them down. So Spike is making a jewel cake, but doesn't have enough sense to not eat all the jewels first. It's like he doesn't even realize he's doing it. <laughs> what happened to all my jewels? Who took my jewels? Oh. I'm who? Why? That's why. I wish I had a dime for every time the camera pulled away while Spike yelled dramatically at the sky. So the main six is going to the Crystal Empire to welcome the head of Equestria Games. That's going to be a separate episode. Anyway, Fluttershy needs Spike to watch over Angel while she's gone, and she's offering to pay him with a nice big jewel. But neither he nor Angel is crazy about the idea. Also, maybe don't leave Angel alone with Aloysius. Just saying. But Spike really wants that jewel, so he agrees to it. See you tomorrow. She's not the only pony with a pet that might need some watching. Oh yeah, this'll end well. I think this is the first time we've seen Tank since May the Best Pet win. He can take care of himself. Anyway, we're gonna see a lot of evidence pointing to why a flying turtle is dangerous. All right. You can watch him, but only because someone needs to make sure that he doesn't slack off while I'm gone. Aww. He'll also be looking after Opal. I love her, she's such a cat. So, thanks for your help, and good luck to you. I think the dragon was expecting a little something for his efforts. Hmm, is it the jewels or the pony he's admiring? Why not both? Almost as beautiful as the pony who gave it to me. Sparity for the win. Next up is Gummy. Go ahead, ask her. Of course you can have another cupcake! I think at this point I've run cupcakes jokes into the ground. I think what Gummy's trying to say is that he'd like a little spike time. Alas, it doesn't come cheap. The next day... Might want to think about a helmet. You only want to get hit in the head by a flying turtle once. But Spike is too busy looking at his cake recipe to pay attention. So here comes everyone else with their pets, including Pinky. Yeah. Be sure you get plenty on his tail or it won't get as poofy as he likes it. And now all the other pets are here. And the main six all say goodbye to them. No, I love you more! I love you more! Each in their own way. Piece of cake! Speaking of cake... Again, Spike is more invested in the cake than in pet sitting. What have you done, Spike? Yep, as expected, it's basically an episode of Animal Hoarders. But less tragic. He manages to collect all of them except one. Angel. I love how he's rigged up a way to walk all of them. Poor Opal, though. Anyway, he tracks down Angel at the CMC clubhouse. Angel is such an adorable little monster in this one. So he tries to pawn Angel off on them. Maybe. I could let you take care of him instead. It's just, you're so good with them. Like, get a cutie mark for bunny sitting good. A bunny sitting cutie mark. As hard as it's gonna be for me to part with these little guys, I think you should probably just take all of them. Really, Spike? Leaving just Angel there wasn't too bad, but all of them? And presumably you're gonna keep all the gems? This is a new low for you. Sure. Yes. Polite. But they're gonna need supplies. Wouldn't the main six have left Spike with their stuff and he'd just have to go back and get it? I happen to know for a fact that Applejack gave you a gem to watch Winona. Obviously, no one around here is getting a cutie mark for kindness toward a poor, hungry little dragon. Oh well, instead he has to give up one of his gems. Has anyone seen Tank's head? Where's his head? Oh, I totally forgot he could do that. But yeah, that turned out to be a very bad idea. All right, load him up. And you can give me back that jewel I gave you. How do you think we paid for the industrial-sized pet hairdryer? 
Winona seems to be having a ball, though. Check out this appearance of the barking pony from Read It and Weep. Looks like she's doing better. So Spike ends up tied to a tree. <laughs> Zakora notices and seems to know what's going on. Zakora can take the bat away if you do just what I say, for I can do my duty. I'm going to need some of your booty. You think jewels are what you need, but there's no worse mojo than dragon greed. I have mixed feelings about this. Knowing Zakora, she probably is aware that he's being greedy, not because he expects payment for his work, but because he tried to pawn it off on the CMC while trying to keep all that payment for himself. And she's trying to make a point. But the way she handles it makes her come across as jerkish. On the upside, this little pony Girl Scout is adorable. <laughs> I mean, I guess if it's good enough for the Paris Sprites. Just taking good care of everyone's animals. And then we have Granny Smith who is willing to accept hush money to not tell anyone about this. A word about what now? Not sure how I feel about that either. During the commotion, Angel has actually snuck onto the train to the Crystal Empire. Angel. I love this running gag. I love how all of the pets look annoyed too, including Gummy, who normally never seems to have a clue about what's going on around him. But obviously they aren't going to let Spike on the train by himself with all those animals. But the CMC are conveniently close, so he has them come on the train as well. And he loses another gem. All aboard for the Crystal Empire! Crystal Empire?! I wish I were dressed for it, but still! <laughs> Sweetie Belle is just such a little pocket rarity now. Anyway, Spike grabs Angel, but isn't able to get off the train before it leaves. Hi, Donut Joe. But the animals destroy his dessert cart, so Spike has to give up another gem, leaving him with only one left. Now that they're at the Crystal Empire, Spike, of course, wants to get right back to Ponyville, but the CMC want to stay for a bit. Again, Angel takes advantage of the commotion and sneaks out of the train and tries to make his way to Fluttershy. Spike has to give up his last gem to create a diversion. Oh my goodness! All aboard! Ah, you're coming with me! Oh, I feel a little sorry for Angel now. But they make it back into the train, just before the main six do. Hoo-wee! My dogs are barking! Ah. Did y'all hear that? They really are! I love Rarity's reaction to that. I bet he's doing a terrific job as a leader. Finally, Spike realizes his mistake. I ignored you. I didn't take these silly things out or fluff this like I was supposed to. Poor Angel just wanted the rollers taken out of his tail all that time. I hope you'll all forgive me someday. You will? Angel runs off again and returns with the last gem. You all hear that? <laughs> Aw, he helped for once. When they get back to Ponyville, Spike sneaks all the animals out of the back so he can pretend that they were waiting for the main six at the train station. I've gotta hand it to you, Spike. You did a really good job of taking care of the animals. Angel looks perfect! You did such a good job fluffing his tail. Yeah, because he just did it, finally. But he still has most of that last big jewel left, so... Of course. And so ends just for sidekicks. So I know a lot of people don't like Spike episodes because he tends to get dumbed down for plot convenience. But I thought this one worked. It doesn't seem out of character to me for Spike to think that since he took care of Pee Wee, he could just as easily take care of a bunch of animals. By the way, notice in these pictures of Pee Wee in the beginning, he's shown getting into stuff a lot. Maybe that was foreshadowing this episode and Spike didn't take as good a care of him as he thinks he did. Spike does do some pretty messed up stuff in this episode, but he admits to his mistakes in the end. I guess it's not so great that he gets away with it and that the main six never find out that he was on the train, but he ends up having to pay for it with his own stupidity. Yes, ideally, he should have had to apologize to the main six, but I feel like it evens out. This is a pretty straightforward episode. Don't take on more responsibility than you can handle, especially not in the name of greed. It's not the best or anything, but it's a fun little filler episode. Of course, this brings up the question of what the hell the main six did with their pets all those times they went out of town with Spike, but oh well. Next up is Apple Family Reunion. See you then.
a sad little dragon with nothing to. Is it? <laughs>